Hey guys, welcome back to Franklin's Garage on Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. I was just checking out the uh, car wash area here, and uh, this is what we're going to be working on today. The Porsche Carrera GT. Well, it's a beautiful car, isn't it? A little dirty right now, but let's give it a wash up and make it look real nice. Now I've already taken the initiative and the liberty of uh, painting all the parts I'm going to be putting on it today. Give her a good wash. Bring in a car lift. Oh, wait, too soon. Bring in the car lift second. Excuse me. Bring over my trusty welder. And while we're doing this, we're going to build the motor. A nice big V10. All right, where are you? Let's let's go through here, right there. Perfect. Nice shiny red. Four crank caps. Hmm. Cool. I installed a piston. All ten of them. Oop, zoom in. Zoom out. Now bear with me here when it comes to installing the flywheel, the clutch packs, and stuff like that because like I said, these cars are new to me, so they just recently appeared in the junkyards and the auctions and stuff like that, so uh, thank God for little little cap bolts. I did a little bit different than what I normally do on this. Normally, when I when I paint the cars, I go opposite colors for the block and the oil pan. But this time, I went the same because the color I was going to choose, white, and eh, just didn't look right on the oil pan. Looked good on the inside of the pan, but not good on the outside. So here we go. Uh huh. Okay. Clutch cover. Okay, may as well install the oil filter since we're down here. Alright, flip the motor. Install the head. And the five plugs for this side. camshafts you pretty cut what huh okay how many do how many of these do I need four per side by the looks of it so I need well eight per side I mean four per cap all right and we gotta look for the v12 caps V12, V12, right there. I need 16 of these bad boys. 8 per side. Gear A, cam gear. 
Okay, I feel like I'm missing something here. Huh. Alright, well we installed the exhaust manifold anyway. Put the alternator in. Then the power steering pump. Well, the water pump first, I guess. Water pump pulley. There's where the power steering pump goes on this side. Alright, we'll do the same as on the other side. We'll do the spark plugs, then the camshafts. Very curious to know why I wasn't able to put in the cam gear B on the other side. So maybe I have to put the time or the timing chain on first, and then I can put the then I can put B on. I'm probably taking a few trips to the parts store here and figuring it out. Actually, these things must be a pain when they run out of time. So, unlike the V8 dual or cam motors, do the left side of the motor first. I put the valve cover on, or engine head cover as they call it. And put the plug or coils on. five of them per side. There will be a lot more red on this motor than I anticipated. It will. I'll do the intake. Injectors, well, fuel rails. Put the throttle bodies on. Did them nice and chrome. Air filter and an air filter cover. Did them chrome too. Spice it up just a little bit. Cover on. Belt. Pulley. I believe this side. Another pulley. Is that it for this? That was fast. I don't see anything else. Alright. And we're going to leave this here and flip it over. Whew, almost scraped it. And now we go do the car. interior first and now we're going to strip the body
Dang, that's big too. Like. Fender, the windshield. Oh, too fast. The other fender, the headlight. And I believe everything's off of this body right now. Cool. Let me raise it up. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this over just, just because I have a feeling. Yeah, ooh. Bring this over too. And put this back. And here's where we go to town taking all the parts off. It came with race tires, I'm putting slicks on it. The nice carbon fiber brakes. I've already taken the initiative and I put the front and rear shocks together and I did the wheel and tire combination. It's probably on the other side. Yep. Right there, right in the open. Now take out the tranny or the gearbox if you can. So I did the shock, the upper control arm, the lower control arm. Wheel knuckle D, because it's rear engine, rear wheel drive. I think I forgot to buy a fuel tank for it too. the quick release tires on it but still gotta take out the lug nuts I, was gonna, I thought I was doing so good I thought I had all the parts for it Guess we know what happened to that thought. Oh well. Oh, need to take the spray bar and link off. Three radiators. Cap, the bearing, 
caliper pads rotor knuckle B but first gotta take off the rest of the suspension in the front upper and lower control arms and the shock absorbers well, the coil overs take off the inner and outer tie rod and then we'll take out the steering rack missed it pull up the sway bar the other bushing front cross member B alright suspensions out drop her down pull the motor pick up the rest of the stuff put everything else back in and uh, There we go. Ooh, twitchy. All right, I'm drain coolant, brake fluid, power steering fluid, and windshield washer fluid. And I do have a nice performance ECU for it. Sound too good. All right, drain the coolant. We we'll pull out the radiators or the windshield washer fluid. I mean, we'll pull out the radiators. Ooh, I should have took that out. Oh well. All right, now we work our way to the back of the car. A little tight fit in here by the, by the feels of it. I never know if the fuse box in there. Uh, Cause it's... Don't know where it is. Hmm. I wonder where the fuse box is. There it is. This car's definitely seen better days, that's for sure. We'll get, I get a kick out of this car's completely rusted out, and there's only like 60,000 miles on them. Makes me wonder where were they driving it. Oh, minus the fuel tank. So, what we'll do is we'll bring that up. Oh, I believe, like I said, I don't think I bought another fuel tank. So, hmm. oops, my mistake. Am I missing something here? Yes, I am. Should be right. Where? Oh, it's up the top. Pick up the filter. Or fuel pump. Wow. I will forget my words tonight. I guess I'll put in the new one since I'm here. Put the new fuel pump. Aftermarket, of course. Lower it down. Put the radiators and stuff like that in it. the dual electric fans the center radiator and then the driver's side radiator with the dual electric fans put in the windshield washer fluid no I will when I put the rest of the stuff in and I know what I forgot
Or then that should be it. I should have everything else. ECU, power steering, ABS, pump and module. Master cylinder, coolant tank, and yeah, put the fuse box in, load her up with the fuses, going to take a process we'll do the relay type B a relay type B I mean three of them oh, I like that one better relay A and the four C's Ooh, I need some relay C's. Get 50 of these. 1200 bucks for relays. Wow. Make sure this isn't a... Okay, make sure it wasn't a buggered up one. I've done that one a time or two. Put bad relays in. Can't figure out why the car doesn't want to start. Alright, I think everything's in. No? Well, in the battery, but we'll do that once the motor's in. Uh, yeah. Gotta have the car in the air for that. So right now, what we'll do is we'll go grab the motor. And we'll put it in the car. This is interesting that I don't not can't find the spot where to put the oil in. Hmm. Am I missing something here? Well, this is a little bit interesting. Kind of embarrassing too at the same moment. How the heck do I put oil on this thing? Huh. Well, I'll have to figure it out by when I start putting all the other fluids in, I guess. those lines right there that's fluid level cold that's max fluid level when it's cold so just a little FYI still really bugging me on how to put oil on this thing huh
And you can see there's max line on here too. There we go, that's done. Take these off for a minute just so I can possibly see. Might have to resort to the manual here to figure out how to do this. For a second, folks. to put the gearbox on gearbox in first okay so what I'll do now is put all the stuff back on oh yeah probably right there I don't know why I didn't see that blinder in the bad eye is but anyway now we go to the front put some windshield washer fluid in this and I believe, minus the oil, it's all filled. And this one, if you look just below where the handle is, you can see on this jug where it's XAM, where it says max with an arrow pointing to that line, that means it's max level. See, right there. Max, right here. Don't need to go any more above that. All right, time to put this bad boy back up in the air. First things first, let's install this gearbox. Holy, that's bright. And we'll put a starter in too. No, I don't have one, it's right here. Love delivery service in this game. All right. So I'd do a little bit different, have the blue shock instead of either red, white, or chrome. Make it look a little different, we'll say. See, rear axle B. There's also a rear hub B. I put the caliper on. You'll understand why that's red in a minute. Is that the right one? Yeah. bright white wheel see it's got the knockoff on here so oh well it is what it is right Put the upper and lower control arms on and put the shock on shock on Dust cover on. Bearing in. Axle. 
caliper, more pads and caliper. And the bright wheel. Now we move to the front. tie rod in the front bushing and last bushing and we start installing the front end components the upper and lower control arms the shocks the spray bar links the knuckle I like to do the upper one first Oop, wrong one Outer tie rod in. Lower control arm. Shock, sway bar line. I mean, go to the outside, the wheel hub assembly. And then we're going to move it over to the alignment rack. Going to get the car aligned, put all the body panels on it. I didn't paint the, the dust covers there. Those are crucial because you don't want dirt inside your dirt and grime inside those bearings because so they will lock up in almost instantly. Alright, now we move over to the other side. sure I gotta put a battery in it too. Oh yeah there's the uh, fill plug right there. Huh what a spot for it I see. Definitely out in the front left corner. Definitely out. Ooh, I forgot to put the exhaust on on this side too. Oh no. Back up in here it goes. Our exhaust section, middle section. Perfect. Now we're done. I can move it to here. Put the interior in it. That's what I've already purchased. And that's if I could change the upholstery color. Windshield, hood, or frunk. Rear 
go tail lights or bumper now did I grab a plate yeah I did now is this body at a hundred percent no it is not which means I still got a plate up here to put on or something what am I missing huh why are we hundred 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 perfect all right Let's see what it sounds like not bad it's got that nice v10 sound to it told you the front was way out it's just angled differently than what I thought it was. Alright, drop this down, move it over just a bit. Perfect, it's in the green. Perfect, it's in the green. Awesome. Alright, now we bring this to the paint booth. Take these mirrors off. We're gonna do something different with them. Nothing, okay. We're gonna do something different with this too. I'm gonna put that back over here. Let's get smoke from the nose of the door. Alright, where are we here? This mirror. I'm going to do black. The other mirror we're going to do black. And the hood we're going to do black. Or the front. Spruce it up a bit, you know what I mean? Did I put the wrong trunk on? Oh wait, this is... Never mind. I think the paint things are starting to get to me. Oh yeah, it looks a lot nicer. Let's take it over to the dyno. Now, what are we supposed to have for power? It's supposed to be 612 horsepower and 435 foot-pounds of torque. Before I push start, let's see what the tuning percentage is already at. 6%. Yeah, let's try to bump it up the best we can. And it only wants to go to six. Hmm. Huh. Seems magical number for this car is six. There we go. Bumping up an extra 3%. Good enough for me. Good enough for thee. Alright, let's see what we're going to make here. Eleven thirty-two and seven hundred and sixty-eight. Not bad. 
Not bad for a 3,000 pound car. Perfect. Well, everyone, that, that concludes our video for today. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to drop a comment and let me know for the next video what everyone would like to see. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have yourself a wonderful evening. Bye.